Hello, hello, hello. What's up, everyone? So, gonna do a video about drawing bodies today. I got a request to do this a little while ago. I think it was in the comments somewhere here on YouTube. Maybe on Instagram or something. I honestly don't remember. But I had the idea to do a pretty brief video about drawing bodies. Um, I have a pretty straightforward approach to it. Now, most of you know that I don't really draw things proportionally. Um... I don't really draw accurate proportions. Don't know what else to say about it. Uh, and most of you probably know that if you see my work. Now, I'm not going to talk about proportions in this video. And there's a couple reasons for that. Uh, there are so many different methods of drawing proportions that I don't want to tell you like one to go with. There's 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 many different ideas, you know, from like the the body should be a certain amount of heads tall or you know kind of stuff like that like there's like you know seven and a half heads eight heads people think different things when they're drawing the bodies now that that has to do with proportions and I don't draw proportionally I draw really stylized um, so I don't really stick to any rules or proportions I mean there there's basic rules just so things don't look too weird but uh, as you can see, as I'm drawing here, this is not accurate human proportion at all. If you look at the picture, if you look at a picture of the human body, uh, you'll be able to see that. So one of the reasons I'm not going to talk about proportions is there's a bajillion references online for you. There's articles, there's in, like instructional guides, and you can find more information um, by Googling for like five seconds than I could tell you in uh, an hour. So... If you're interested about different methods, I would recommend going online, looking at the re resources that are available to you, and uh, you know, just doing research, learning, see what you like, see what you don't like, uh, see what works for you. Copy incoming. All right. So, what I want to talk about rather is a way to structure the body when you're drawing it. Now, however, you want to draw proportionally, because I'm way out for proportions here, but I kind of tend to like these figures with really long limbs and. Uh, like small abdomens and stuff like that. But what we'll talk about here is just basic construction. So you can think about this in terms of boxes. This is These aren't really boxes here, but more just major shapes that I want you to be thinking about um, while we're doing this. But if you think in terms of boxes, let's draw a box for the head right there, box for the torso right there. That's like rib cage type of thing. Let's do box of the hips right here. That's where the, uh, as you can see, the joint to the thigh is going to be. Uh, I'm just putting that in there for my own reference. Now you got these boxes here. You can even draw boxes for the feet if you want. Doesn't matter. Now you may be thinking, well, how do you figure out where to put the boxes? That's kind of just really, really simple. And I'm going to show you kind of how I think. So if you're thinking of like the midline, which is the midline that runs through the center of the body. That's where your spine's going to be at, right? So if you start from the middle of the head and just go straight down, boom, that's a spine. So from here to here, that's the actual spine. So it's going to connect from the bottom of the skull to the top of the hips. And this is what you want to be thinking about when you're drawing. This is like the first thing you should think about, or at least I think that you should think about. So if you're going to draw a figure and you want to, you know, just for example, like fit it on a page or you got a specific pose in mind, think about where that spine's going to be. So if I want to draw a... Uh, uh, Let's just say we'll draw a figure that is bending forward with their head up and their legs straight down. So if you think about someone bending over, where their spine's going to be? Like right there. So if you can just visualize there, got the neck right here, spine running along the rib cage, spine down to the hips here. If this figure is bending forward, let's say it's from like a side view. There's a box for the torso. There's your box for the hips. And there's your box for the head. And you've already done almost all the work. Now, if you think about where the joints for everything else are, shoulders are going to be up here. And like I said before, legs are going to be here. Think about where that's at on the box. So if they're bending forward, uh, like reaching down, or they've, yeah, they can even be reaching forward, that's where their arm's going to be. you got the joints for the legs right here in the middle of the hip. That's going to come down, just like that. So if you start with those boxes, or even just the line for the spine, we've got a line for the spine here, then you can construct your boxes like that, if you just want to think about like where the basic parts of the body are. Another cool way to do it is to think about a couple lines right here. So you got a line at the bottom of the rib cage, 
It's going to be right here. And align at the top of the hips, right here. If you want to think about just where those, those parts are going to be, you got to think of them that they're kind of like on a pivot here. So if you're going to like lean over, your, your rib cage is going to tilt this way and your hips are going to tilt this way. And that's going to be connected with the spine right here. So when these are bending, like your spine is bending, and this whole like line here is going to be bending. And that's kind of how you can think about, like a, like a slinky almost, connecting these. You can think about how things are going to move around in different poses. The legs are pretty easy. Just go with simple lines if you're just thinking about building the figure. Knees there. Doesn't have to be too fancy, and we're not drawn in proportion here. And if you're bending the hips, legs are going to move. That's going to tilt up. You can see these lines moving. Right? So everything, if you think of it, it's all connected together by boxes and slinkies, whatever the heck that means. Whenever a box moves, the slinky's going to move, which is going to affect the other boxes. Blah, blah, blah. Talk about constructing the body. That may, that may sound kind of confusing, but that's how I think of it. Because I've done a lot of, I've already done the phases of research and figuring out what I like to do and styles and systems that work for me. This is now the point I'm at, where I'm just thinking about parts of the body and how they interact with each other. Now, when I draw, I don't do a lot of sketching beforehand, but if you want to, just do simple, simple things like this. And the more you get used to doing it, the more you practice it, the easier it will get over time. So I put the spine there, and I'm kind of like already drawing the hips, because I know the hips are going to land right here. But you can still see those major shapes are there. Slinkies are moving. Things are moving like that. And it all just builds on top of it. Like everything is everything's connected. That's just, I guess that's the point I'm trying to make here, even if I'm not being incredibly clear about it. Uh, everything's connected. Every part makes every other part move. So if you if you had like a doll with all the parts that were connected together by string and you started moving parts around like the whole thing would kind of move, right? That's why you want to think of all these pieces. So rather than just starting like with a head and doing all the detail in the head and rendering that out nicely and not knowing what you're going to do with the rest of the body, from there, try to think of the whole thing all at once. That is sloppy as heck, sorry. And even if this is your sketch here, like, then that's it. Then you can build a whole body on top of there. And it's easy. I mean, I, I, maybe easy isn't the right word. It takes practice, for sure. And I would definitely recommend, if you have access to it, take some figure drawing classes. If you don't have access to that, that's just fine. Check out the resources online. There's all sorts of videos you can watch. And using reference or drawing from a real figure or even a video of a figure or photograph, whatever, doesn't really matter. Whatever works for you or whatever you have access to, that's a great way to practice. And even just doing quick like gesture poses like this. This is kind of a gesture, like a one minute pose or something. Do this a whole bunch and it's going to be, it'll become over time like second nature to you. You'll be able to build bodies in your head and then put it straight under the paper because it's, it's like muscle memory, right? So practice, man. Like that's, that's it. Practice. Think about simplifying things that seem complex. This is, you know, I spent two years doing this type of stuff. I was doing figure drawing for like two years. And I learned how to do all these different systems and different constructions and thinking about the figure and pieces that are connected and building building like a mental library of of skills and tools and knowledge and all that stuff that's what's going to make this super easy for you um in the long run and like i said nothing happens overnight i spent 2 years learning this stuff and it's gotten me where i am now and i still have a lot to learn but 
this is this is where where to start and this is just a way to make complex concepts seem really really simple just think about how everything connects right and this is super easy like when when i was doing realistic figure drawings i would do gestures like this and when i started out i would do them much more detailed like i would build everything out of parts and as i kept doing it my i noticed that my like gesture sketches my my sketches became less detailed over time because like it was all in my memory like i didn't have to draw it out because i was doing it automatically in my head that goes for proportions that goes for you know knowing skeletal structures muscle systems like there's so much detail in the body and there's so much to learn and thinking that you're just gonna you know break out day one and start drawing a perfect body is is kind of silly um you know not not to say that you're silly for thinking that but you gotta put in the time if you wanna if you wanna learn but check out check out resources online draw from reference practice memorize it that's that's how you that's how you get better practice 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 and then if you you know if you want if you want to start off drawing like stylized figures and stuff um that's fine like more you know go for it but learning how to how to draw like the real human body makes it so much easier to draw a stylized human body and I spent so much time drawing realistic human bodies, and then not only did I, I, I did get tired of it after a while, but I discovered that for when I'm drawing for my own enjoyment, when I'm drawing for fun, I like drawing stylized. But I also like to keep that stylization realistic in a sense. Not not that my figures are realistic. That's not what I mean. But they don't look well. They don't look particularly deformed. I don't think. Maybe they do. Maybe they do. Maybe they look like horrible, <laughs> deformed monstrosities. I don't, I don't know. I'm kind of talking about my own work here, like I know what's up, but I don't think they look particularly deformed. I think they look stylized, but not in the realm of impossibility. That maybe somewhere on some brightly colored planet, there's a bunch of people with giant eyes and ridiculously long limbs just running around thinking we look weird who knows man who knows um but hopefully i feel like i rambled a ton in this video and kind of just did stream of consciousness but that's kind of what i wanted uh just because my concept of anatomy and, and drawing figures is kind of i don't know maybe maybe not mainstream maybe kind of a little bit different, but I think everybody does things a little bit different. Um, there's definitely a classical way of learning, and I've been there, done that, and it's a great way to learn. And there's definitely other ways to learn. We live in the information age. Everything you could possibly ever want is available to you online. Um, and if you don't have access to the internet at your home, go to a library. They've got internet there for you. Um, print out a bunch of photos for reference or rent some videos. I'm sure you could find videos about figure drawing or even just, I don't know, find some like exercise videos and draw people from the exercise videos. I don't know. I'm just trying to brainstorm here so you can come up with, with ideas because there's all sorts of different ways to learn. There's all sorts of different ways to practice. And as I always say, and I'll say it a bazillion times, finding the right way to do it for you is the most important thing you can do. Don't let anybody tell you how to do things. Consider other people's advice, but ultimately try to find your own path. I think that's the best advice I can give. But I hope you enjoy these videos, you know, because I'm, you know, it, it, it's nice for me because I get all these ideas out of my head, you know, on a, like, into a medium of sorts, you know, into these videos. It's like writing lists of stuff to do, like, once you write it down, it's out of your head. You can just reference a list. You don't have to be stressing about it all the time. But I'm, I'm happy to share it. I'm happy to get it out of my head and try to make sense of it. Maybe it doesn't make sense, uh, but I hope at least part of it makes sense. 
and you guys can uh, maybe learn learn a thing or two and try some new things for your own. If you got any cool ideas, I'd I'd love to hear them. Uh, always getting very very good feedback. I appreciate every single comment. I'm reading everything, responding to whatever I can. And uh, yeah, let's keep it up. It's been a lot of fun. I hope you guys are having fun too. I'm definitely enjoying it. So glad you're along for the ride. If you're here, uh, I and you're not just watching it to. Um, man, I don't know. I'm glad you're here anyway. Whatever reason you're here for, I'm glad you're here. Glad you're watching. Glad we could uh, have this little talk. And I will catch you in the next one. Have a good time, guys. I'll see you.